barbecue food for you. Today, showing everyone how to set up a CyberQ Wi-Fi digital controlled temperature system from the barbecueguru.com on the big green egg, and then we're gonna put on a 14 and three quarter pound pork shoulder to see how it all works together. Now, let's get started. Now, let's unbox the CyberQ and see what she has. Instructions. Here's the main unit. This is the 10 CFM Pit Viper fan. Just your plug. This is going to be the adapter piece that slides in the vent on the big green egg, which the fan goes into. These are three meat probes. And this is going to be your grill temperature probe. A kill plug to go in here. And a mounting bracket. Now you can bend this in a lot of different ways, however you want to set it up. So, let's plug her in, see how she works. Okay, let's plug it in, see what happens. Try hooking it up with my phone. There she is. Error. Main page. Well, there we go. So now we can control all your temperatures, check your food from your phone or your PC. You can hook it up to your router and you don't even have to be home to change the temperatures. So that's all set up. Let's go get the rest of it on the big green egg. Got the egg all loaded up with charcoal briquettes and the chimney fired up. Now what we're going to do is just dump this on. Toss in a couple chunks of apple wood. Get your plate sitter on. Drip pan on, fill it with water. And get the grill on. Let that get going for a few minutes. We'll get the rest of the guru stuff set up. To get the pit viper fan put in, just remove these two plates, put the screen off to the side, take your barbecue guru adapter, slide it all the way in until it hits the stop, then take your solid door, put it back in, and put it over top of the guru adapter. Now the fan just fits in snug with the o-ring, good to go, let's get the rest of it set up. Because it's raining a little bit out here, what I've done is take a Ziploc container, drill some holes in the bottom. I'm going to be putting the CyberQ in here. 
and running all of our wires to it. So, got the CyberQ all set up. Drilled some holes in the bottom of the Ziploc container. It's raining out, so that will keep it dry. Now, let's go get that pork shoulder. Got the CyberQ all set up and the big green egg fired up. Let's get that pork on. Now we're only going to be using two meat probes. Shut the lid. Check on it in a bit. Sensor saying that the grill's reading 336, the meat probes at 125 and 117. Temperature gauge on the egg says it's running around 250. Let's go take a peek, check the water in the drip pan, add a couple more chunks of applewood. Temperature gauge on the egg is reading at 270. Haven't even opened it yet, but let's take a peek, check the water in the drip pan, throw in a couple more chunks of those applewood. Drip pan, still half full, looking good, don't need to touch it. But we'll throw in a couple more chunks of applewood. So let's take one more peek before the sun goes down. I'm gonna start spraying out with some apple juice and apple cider vinegar. Just got the pork shoulder off the egg, looking great. Internal temperature sitting at 190 degrees with my thermopen. What we're going to do is wrap it with a few layers of heavy duty tin foil and let it rest for around an hour. Before you wrap it up, give it a whole bunch of sprays with your apple cider and apple juice mixture. Just add some extra flavor to it while it sits and rests. And don't be shy. Time to open it up and see how it looks. Now we got a few layers on here. Just go ahead and rip it apart. Toss it in the sink. Looking good. Spread that juice on there. Check that out. Mmm. Just falling apart. Mmm. Sorry, camera. Mmm. Let's start tearing this apart with a couple of meat rakes. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> Just tears apart. <laughs> wow. Mm. Mm. Easy work with a set of meat rakes. Just got the pork unwrapped and looking great. Check it out. I'm really impressed with the Barbecue Guru CyberQ system. Made this cook so easy and this stuff is delicious. It's easy to do. Barbecue food for you. Give it a try.